Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to configure this template called Simple Create and Edit Page Template, which will allow us to either create or edit the page. So what we are going to do, we will add two different pages. One is to create the transaction and second is to edit the transaction. So let's create this page and configure this. So here is my application where I will close everything here. And what we are going to do, first of all, you can see here component palette and search the simple create simple create and edit page template. You can read about that. Simple create and edit CCA is a page template which allows consumer to create data entry or edit the page. So this is how the we can use this page. This please consider using simple create and edit pattern for updating this component. The latest version also of the pattern component, which is called simple create edit pattern. As of now, we are using simple create edit page template, but there's a pattern also simple create and edit pattern, which is the which is the latest version of the same. That is okay. So this is the same sample code that you can also use. But let's create a page. Here, create page, let's say, add simple create page, right? So this is for addition. So here you can see we have a template called simple create and, and edit page template. Let's click on a create. When you do this here, you can see your page has been created. And by default, this is how the page looks like. So when you select this, you can see simple create and edit page template. When you go to the structure window, you can see the template has been added here. Under that, you have, if you go to the property section, if you scroll down a little bit, you will see main slot where we have, where the default form is the dynamic form, which has been added for you in the main slot. Correct. And then there's a message dialog, which will appear if there's a pending transaction here, meaning you have something unsaved. Okay. We are going to look at, look into it. So let's click on a simple create and edit page template and let's let's explore the properties of it one by one. You see the page title. Page title indicates like you wanted to tell your end user what this page is going to do. You can say new employee, new employee. The page title, enter all the required, required fields to add a new employee, something like this. So it can be short, it can be a little big also. And if you need to see any help, you can click here. That will tell you the help. The display mode for the header. So most of the variables, most of the properties are, 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 are do have, have the, uh, the variable, which is created here. You can see total 11 variables are created. Variable one, you can see display mode. So there is nothing. So if you remove this, you will see there are two types of mode. One is light, second is mixed. So when you select this, this is how the mixed mode looks like. If you click on a light, this is how the light mode looks like. Then again, we have a few display options. Page dot variables dot go to parent option, which is the Boolean variable here and which is false by default. If you make it true, you will notice it will add a link called parent page. Okay, using which you can go to the previous page. All right, and you see the few events has been added also for you and few action chain has been added for you as well. All right, so there's some event, there's some action chain which is configured for you. If you see the event, if you click on this parent page, there's an event called go to parent. If you select this go to parent, there's a one action chain and you have to tell which page you want to go to, meaning you have to do some configuration, but action chain are created for you. All right, let's come back. Let's go to the general properties. Then you see show contextual info label. So you can create 
some contextual information here as well. And if you wanted to show the labels, then you can make this variable as a true. Contextual information, you can say true. I will show you where exactly uh, that label will be visible. Save button visible. So here, there is a button called save also that will be visible if there is a there is a data which you have not submitted and you are trying to navigate back to the page. So that save button will be visible here. So there is some condition which has been added. If save option not equals to off and page dot variables dot dirty data flag, yes, then show on. But if you try to remove that expression and you say on, you will see here the save button is here, right? But let me say the expression that I have this fine let it be for now and here some primary action labels so here you can see the submit button is the primary action so by default the primary action label is submit so if you see this over you can see the label of primary action of the page default is submit you can change it let's say new instead of submit you can use the button new you can change the label and you can see the primary action primary action, the submit button action chain is configured for you. When you click on this new button, this action chain will be fired. And of course, you have to do some other thing called S save action chain that you have to call. It has been called and then navigate to the another page, right? Right, primary action disabled. So this action will be disabled depending on that condition. So there is some condition which has been added by default. All right. Now go to the all and see. You can see we have more properties after image. For example, you are making, you are trying to make this page as an editable. And, and you can show the avatar of the of that employee who you are trying to update. For example, if I go here, that is binded with the avatar as of now. Nothing is here. So what you can do, you can see avatar. So you can say source. You can say source is let's say AJ for now. And then initial, sorry, initials AJ. And source, you can put the image or you can find with the employee image also. We will see this later. You can see this is how that avatar looks like. Badge. So under badge, you can say text, let's say active. And then you can say success, something like this. So you can, of course, do all those binding. All right. And then contextual information. So you remember we have a field called um, contextual info label. So we made this variable as a true. So if you go here, you can show some four contextual information like how username. And then AJ, something like this. So this label is only visible because we made this variable as a true. If you make it false, that label will not be visible. You see? So let's make this true. So that you can see the label also. So you can add four, four contextual information. Let's say email. Something like this. So you can add total four. You can see here also a list of contextual information for the page. This supports up to four contextual information, right? Then we have seen this display mode mixed and then light, right? Display options. So there are some display options like do you want to show the contextual information? You want to go to the parent page, this, save, feedback, and then dynamic paddings enabled. Right? And the primary actions, this is my primary action, you can see. New is here. And then you can also add some secondary actions. So you can add multiple secondary actions, label of secondary item. You can see that will be visible here. You can see label, let's say more information id let's say more info 
and we can show the icon for that now if you see here more information so you can add more let's say let's say add department add that you see actions so this is how that action looks like all right that's all so this is how you can configure and of course we are going to configure this complete page to create an employee along with this dynamic form guys i hope you find this video useful thank you bye bye